And Miss Lily asked me to review this game. It's called Camp Morningwood. This is done by Exus Cumming, who did Orange Trainer and Paprika Trainer. So let's check out this demo, shall we? This is an early preview of Camp Morningwood. I keep wanting to say Camp Pinewood. Did I? I think Lily, Miss Lily, did a game like that once. Oh, the art's really pretty. No, senorita, don't touch El Presidente there. I'm very ticklish. Mm, oh, 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 I see you are wearing a skimpy underwear tonight. Mm. Mm. Hmm? Waking from your slumber, you slowly open your eyes. You appear to be on a bus driving through an unfamiliar forest. It's the early morning, and the sun has begun touching treetops casting a pleasant glow over the wilderness. El Presidente Jr. has no idea where he is. Mm -hmm. The girl is sleeping in your lap, letting out disgruntled murmurs as, as your voice wakes her up. Well, at least you're here. Five more minutes, por favor. Her name is Lola, and she is your... What is Lola in relation to you? I'm going to say personal assistant. Personal assistant and closest friend. Anywhere you go, she follows. Although you two have a bit of a rivalry going on, you're always there for each other. You check your unfamiliar surroundings. It appears to be a regular old bus. The smell of stale sweat and singed fur offends your nostrils. Looking around, it seems you are, only two, you are the only two passengers. Well, this is peculiar. Let's see. Hmm. Hey, what's this? There's a backpack in the overhead compartment. It just out of your reach. You stretch out your arm. Almost. Almost. You glance down at the girl happily sleeping in your lap. Not a care in the world. Oh, you. Hey! I'm sorry. Hey! Sorry, I had to get up. You massive dong, I was dreaming of home country. Dreaming about spending Papi Presidente's money, I bet? Oh, there's gum down here. Ignoring Lola's complaints, you pull the backpack out of the top compartment. As you do, a letter falls out of it and lands on your still prone personal assistant's head. What is this? You find a sealed envelope. Hmm? It's an envelope with an unbroken seal on it. The crimson red symbol is decorated with the letter F. You carefully break the seal and take out the letter. Dear Presidente Junior, we have received word that you and your personal assistant have been exiled from your home country by your father, the president, the prestigious El Presidente. You are to serve your penance in America, most infamous reform center, Camp Morningwood, Camp for Wayward Girls. We hope that during the summer you will reflect on your past actions and wrongdoings. Have a productive and speedy rehabilitation. Kind regards, Head Counselor Frock. Your memories are coming back to you. Your father, Papi Presidente had gotten sick and tired of your selfish and egotistical behavior and signed you and your personal assistant up for a reform camp. I still can't believe Papi Presidente has done this to me. To me! Now, Pequeño El Presidente Jr. has to work surrounded by ruffians far away from, from, home country. Ah, home country, a warm sun, the taste of old mama's cooking, the street, Musicians playing their guitars deep into the night. The corruption, the poverty, the violent gorilla guarding every street corner. I miss it already. Oh, you weak? Okay. We're coming up in the reform camp. Best of luck out there, kiddos. Don't let the ghouls get you. Wash me harder more. 
She just said, watch me harder, Daddy. G ghouls? The camp's haunted, son. Folks have been going missing there for centuries. I don't envy you. But surely there must be myths and folk tales, yes? The forest isn't really haunt. Hmm? Where, where are best of luck out there? Now get off my freaking bus. Wait, this is it? Doesn't look very haunted. <sighs> what the ruckus are we here? You've got gum in your hair. Oh, motherfuck. You take in your surroundings, carefully glancing around in search for anything spooky lying in wait for you. Well, if there's ghosts, I can see why Miss Lily gave it to me. She doesn't like ghosts too much. However, it appears to be pretty stereotypical summer camp. Only with barbed wire on the walls. That's ominous. The warm sun greets you, and you hear the pleasant sound of birds chirping in the forest. I'm sure that bus driver was just messing with us. After all, there is no such thing as ghosts and g ghouls. Wasn't there supposed to be a welcoming committee? I believe so, but there's nobody out here. Do we just go in? Um, I guess. You let yourself in. Hello, new arrivals. Famous and handsome El Presidente Jr. is here. And I'm here too. And also less famous and less handsome personal assistant is here. Bastard. Nobody? Did we get the date wrong? What the? Holy saints. Okay, haunted. Definitely haunted. You turn around and want to make your way back to the gate, but find your path blocked off a mountain of trash. It's overgrown by dark vines which seem to be dripping black pus. Oh, you've got to be joking. This is no way to treat El Presidente. We have to get out of here. Come on, Lola. L Lola? You look around, but Lola is gone. Nowhere to be found. L Lola? Okay, okay. Don't panic. Don't panic, El Presidente. Okay, now is the time to panic. You are being hunted. Okay, I like this. This is new, I like this. This is bad. You hear a shriek again. It is close. The cabin. Maybe I can hide there. Rushing into the cabin, you hear the sound of screeching and something large crashing into the door behind you. It appears to be a two-room cabin. You glance around in a desperate hope of finding something to defend yourself with. Oh no. More magic tomfoolery? With no other options, you run over to the pink light and push open the curtain. Rushing into the next room, behind you, you hear the monster breaking down the front door and crawling into the wooden cabin. It is the size. It is a sizable room with broken beds and more frozen humanoid statues. In the center of the room is a stone pedestal with a purple orb floating on top of it. Hearing the creature from the other room come closer, you decide you don't have any other option. You approach the purple orb on top of the pedestal. Oh, I like the art. The pink glowing illuminating the pink glow illuminating your face as you hear something entering the room behind you. Your fingertips tin tindle? You mean tingle. With a strange energy as you bring as you bring your hands up to the swirling ball of energy. 
An icy coldness is breathing down your neck. Finally, without thinking, you reach forward and grab on to whatever object is placed in front of you. Oh, this is like Fatal Frame. I want that camera. X is coming presents. I do like the camera. Camp Morningwood. Maybe I lower things. Hmm? I'm okay. You look around, you find yourself in the cabin from before, but the tentacles are gone and the holes in the walls are fixed to a point where it doesn't look like they were ever here. Warm sunshine is... Warm sun sunlight shines in through the windows as you hear the chirping of a bird outside. Hello, Monstro? Giggles. Monstro do, do not giggle. Do they? You gently push the door open and peek through the crack. They don't look like monsters. Stepping outside, you feel a warm breeze of the beautiful summer morning. Around you, you can see girls wearing camp uniforms chatting and laughing. Any and all signs of monsters are completely gone. Oh, I want to see the monsters. Why does that look a little bit like me? Weird. Except I have cute little green streaks in my hair. And then I was like, what? And then I took his pocket wa- Boom. Whoops, sorry, didn't see you. There. Hola. <gasps> Boy! Suddenly, as if hearing a siren call, all the girls in the immediate vicinity turn around and focus their attention on you. Um. Hi, what are you doing here? Are you the new handyman? When did you arrive? Do you have a girlfriend? No, just a moment. Hey, why are you holding a camera? I just got here and there was these monsters and... Camera? You look down towards your hand and notice that you're tightly clutching an odd-looking photo camera. Holding it, you recognize... The tintling? Is it tintling? Tingling? In your fingertip, in your fingers, that you also felt just before you were attacked in the broken cabin. The pink orb. Was it this little thing? Ew, he must have been taking pictures of us like some kind of pervert. Oh, I'd like him to take pictures of me all day long. No, 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 you misunderstand. You quickly put the camera away in your backpack. So, you're, you're so toned. You're not married, are you? Out of the way, let me through, please. You see a young woman pushing her way through the crowd. She appears slightly older than the rest of the campers, but not by much. The campers ignore her request to move aside, and she has to fight her way through the crowd. Phew. Y'all must be the new arrival. Um, we didn't expect you to show up so soon. Welcome, I'm Counselor Katie. Gracias. Where the heck am I? What do you mean? You're in Camp Morningwood, reform camp of a wayward girls. See, I understand that, but... The monsters? Monsters? Yes, the black and purple monsters. You notice everyone giving you strange looks, seemingly completely unaware of what just transpired. Strange activities? Have you, how you say, noticed any strange activities around the camp? Strange? Strange? There isn't... There hasn't been anything out of the ordinary. Have you been talking to the campus? Folks can just get a little superstitious all the way out here in the woods. I see, I see. No black tentacle monsters? Nope. No black figures frozen in place? Not that I can think of. And no demonic whispers? They'd have to whisper pretty loud to be heard over this gang of squabbling chickens. Katie motions to the group of campers who are all excitedly talking to each other. 
Uh, who are you exactly? I'm Counselor Katie. I'm both your confidant and and your correctional officer for as long as you're in a camp. We didn't expect you and your personal assistant until next month, but seeing as you're here now, we might as well put you to work. What day is it? What day is it? What day is it? Is the first of June? June? No, no, no. It's already July. No, sugar. It's June. Hmm? Have you seen Lola? I came here with somebody else. Have you seen my personal assistant anywhere? Oh, yeah, Lola. She said she said you arrived together. There you are. You ass, leaving me alone to the gate and all. How could you disappear on me like that? I... Nothing appears to be out of the ordinary. It's as if nothing has happened. But... Monsteros? Monsteros? Never mind. Lola, you're in cabin four. Go put away your things. As for you... I don't know what strings your father had to pull to have you accepted into a girls' camp, but we can't exactly have you sharing cabins with other girls. So instead, why don't you set up inside the cabin you just came from? It's a storage shed, but if you clean it up a bit, you'll have the biggest camp cabin and camp all to yourself. You can put away your things later, but now follow me to the camp center and I'll introduce you to the camp. Oh, okay. Why is everybody acting like nothing's wrong? Could could El Presidente be going crazy? Hmm? You hear a beeping noise coming from your backpack. And that is right. I still have this strange camera. I knew El Presidente was not crazy. Something fishy is going on here. For now, I think it's best to follow Counselor Katie to the camp center and see if I can find out more. Showers, home, cabins, center. Hello, El Presidente. Introduction. And this is our camp center. Seeing as we're already here, we might as well go over your duties while in camp. Duties? El Presidente has duties? Why, of course. Hard work and dedication will turn you away from delinquency and on the path of product productivity. You and your personal assistant have been sent here to change your lazy behavior, and we intend to have you leave this camp as productive members of society. Uh, but El Presidente is not lazy. I'm just overly attached to my silk sheets and my breakfast in bed and my own personal swimming pool. Not that I actually use it, mind you. But it is a big hit with the senoritas. And you can have all that stuff here as well. I can? Yep, there's one problem. The camp is completely dilapidated. If you want to enjoy its luxuries, you're going to have to get your hands dirty and help fix the place. But, but, can I just not hire someone to do it for me? The attitude isn't gonna help set you isn't gonna help set you back on the right path. Y'all just have to suck it up and spend one summer here in camp with us. And you are sure it is June? I already told you, honey, today's the first day of June. If she's right, then El Presidente may have somehow traveled back in time. But this would mean I have a chance to escape before the monsters show up. Small group of campers seem to have followed you from the distance, excitedly talking to each other and looking in your direction before breaking out into giggles. They have no idea what it is waiting for them. They do not believe me about the monsters at all. El Presidente escapes now, then everyone in camp will meet a horrible fate. Maybe I should try hanging out for a bit longer. There may be a way to prevent this future from happening. Are you listening? Well, oh, uh, sorry, El Presidente was not. I can already tell y'all are gonna be a handful. I was talking about reform tokens. Cute, okay. Por qué? 
Sorry, that's a joke between a friend of mine and me. When you, wor when you work around the camp, you will be rewarded with reform tokens for your hard work. These tokens can be exchanged at the lake shop for toys, gifts, and snacks. Camp Morningwood is a community, meaning we help each other. If you believe somebody deserves some extra tokens, you can trade yours with them. Trade like for favors? Why, yes, indeed. Section- No! <laughs> Didn't even let it finish. Oh. Here's your journal for keeping track of your duties. And here's a map of the camp. They'll help you out find your way. You'll be joined by a fellow camper at each amenity, so it's a good place to make some friends. There aren't too many rules you have to worry about either. Just work hard and try not to escape. Absolutely no fooling around with the girls in camp. No spying on them in the showers? Absolutely not. No skinny dipping? Don't even think about it. No personal harem of girls girls to suck on my... Katie gives you a stern, disapproving look. Cock. Minus five. No. Never mind. That's very wise, El Presidente. Wouldn't want to lose tokens on your first day now, would you? Well, wait, you can take them away as well? Well, obviously. They're to see how close you are to rehabilitation. Whenever you get caught doing something you shouldn't be doing, we'll deduct your tokens. But I'll need those to but I will need those tokens. Then you better get to work, hm? And do not think about slacking off, you hear? Your daddy presidente has threatened to kick you out of the house if you fail to reform. <gasps> Puppy Presidente would never. Fine. That's more like it. Remember, you are here to reform, become a benefit to society, and make your father proud. And that wraps up our little introduction. Go rock around camp, get to know your fellow campers, and pick up a project to work on. New projects and new contacts will be available over time. If you have any questions, come and find me or one of the other counselors. Best of luck. With that, Katie turns around and, sho and shoes away the Snoopy camping girls, camp girls, and heads off. Okay, El Presidente, you can do this. Work hard on tokens and figure out the way to save the camp before the monster to show up. I'm going to stop doing that. Hmm, but why did it have to involve manual labor? I don't mind manual labor. Okay. Your journal has been updated. Let's see who's at the clinic. I guess we can't meet anyone there. Well, that certainly needs to get cleaned up. Want to spend the rest of the day working around the theater? Um, sure. You spend the day working around, working together with Penelope. Hmm, looks like an old stage. It looks like it may take some time, but it's not beyond repair. Who art thou to encroach upon this hollowed ground? Ah! A tall, slender, elegant-looking girl appears on the stage. Her long, flowing hair cascades down past her shoulders and down her back. Soul-piercing, bright blue eyes stare down at, at you with a face of contempt. Holy moly, senorita! You scared the bejesus out of me! I am Penelope, and this is my stage, my kingdom, my world. You dare approach me dressed like that? Uh, see? Very well then, stranger. I shall grant you the privilege of an audience, for I am a merciful queen. Speak and I shall listen. What brings you here, man of Mexico? But El Presidente is not from Mexico. Never mind that. I'm here to help repair the broken stage. So El Presidente may earn more reform tokens. Ah, you have come to do labor of my kingdom, restore the battered merlins, repair the thatched roofs, and regrow the ancient herbalist gardens. Okay. Oh wait, we are playing a game of play pretend. I get it now. El Presidente was cam was champion at this when he was younger. <clears throat> I have come from far, from a far, from the far off world of home country. Now I am here to help you mend the damages to your theater. 
I see, and do you have any magic to assist you in this task? Magic? There is no such thing as magic. How dare you! I am Penelope, Queen of the Morning Woods, wise as I am ancient, powerful as I am beautiful. You say that there is no such thing as magic, but what is this? Whoa, 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 what's going on here? Come here to your... Come here to do your repairs, if you will, but remember that this is my kingdom. I reign over it and shall be respected. Is this normal? Can all Americans shoot fire out of their hands? If you have come here to make repairs, then let it be so. But remember to never insult your queen. Okay, well, I'm just going to start then. Do not take... Do not make too much more noise. I shan't be disturbed during my ro royal duties. Wait. You're not helping El Presidente? The girl narrows her eyes at you again and, a venomous, and venomously replies. Doubt... Dost thou believe me to be a simpleton? Go and fulfill your duties to Taskmaster Katie, if you dare, if you must. I shall have no part in it. Well, she's crazy like a doorknob. You begin repairs in the camp theater. The damage really isn't that great, but having to undertake renovations by yourself is greatly slowing your progress. As you work, Penelope is just kind of loitering about. She is seen talking to people who aren't there and pretending to give speeches. El Presidente is not making a lot of progress. Maybe if Senorita would help, then things would actually get done around here. Penelope! That is Queen Penelope to you, peasant. What is all that noise? I ask that you do not disturb me while I am addressing my students. We're the only ones here. Yeah, well. Yeah, well. I'm just practicing for when they show up. Tell you what, if I give you a private lesson, will you be a good surf and return to work? Burn the bitch. You know what? El Presidente has always wanted to be a magician. Can you teach me how to pull a rabbit out of the hat? A rabbit? I bend the powers of the arcane, shape mana into physical form, and guide the forces of creation into my vision. So can you? Well, uh, no. Aww. But I can shoot some more fire out of my hands. Okay. Penelope spends the rest of the day showing you how to cast magic. Large plumes of flames and smoke burst free from the palms of her hands. Despite your constant fear that she will burn the forest down, you cannot look away from the awe-inspiring sight. Behold, fire! Very, very impressive. El Presidente has never gone to a magic show quite like this before. You are too kind. You may continue praising me. What is going on? Penelope, it doesn't look like you did any work around the theater today. And why is the smell like why does it smell like fire here? Um, well this has to stop. You've been here long enough now, and you need to start working. Everyone else in camp is doing their part, why aren't you? I don't know. Turning her attention to you, the camp counselor narrows her eyes. And you? Me. I expect you to try your hardest, knowing what your father will do if you get kicked out of camp. But El Presidente wanted to work. He just got distracted by fu- By the ferns! We got distracted studying the ferns. Very impressive, Flora. There will be time to study the wilderness after you fix the stage. I can see that you, that you did a tiny bit of work. Very well earned. But very well, five re reform tokens earned. That's not a lot. Hopefully it will teach you to work harder next time. Now clean up and head to the center for dinner. Well now, it seems the tyrants of this camp were not satisfied with your work. My work? You did nothing today, senorita. I will, I will hear not another word out of you. Next time, be sure to do an adequate job. So that we so that we may earn a decent amount of tokens. Hey. Having enough of Penelope for today, you head back to the camp center for dinner. 
It is dinner time at the camp, and all around you you see girls with plastic plates and cups. Ah, uh, this must be the line for the delicious camp food. The, wow, the the blonde girl kind of looks like Miss Akina. Excuse me, do you know what is on the menu for today? Hmm? The menu. What are we eating tonight? Not a big talker, I see. Hey, you're the new kid. Hello, new kid. And hola to you, brunette girl. Tell me, what have you prepared for us tonight? I've got... Microwave hot dogs, microwave pancakes, microwave burgers. Anything that is not microwave by any chance? Lobster, maybe? Hmm. Sandwich? Ever since the mess hall broke down, we've all been left is a all we have left is a magic microwave. Magic? Yeah, the camp ran out of power a while back, but the microwave still works. It's magic. I'm Emma, by the way. Nice to meet you, Emma. I guess I'll take a sandwich then. Good choice. That'll be a do that'll be a hundred bucks. One hundred dollars for a sandwich? But I'm hungry. You pat your back pocket and your wallet, but there's nothing there. I, uh, I appear to have left my wallet in my cabin. That's okay. It was already prepaid for. Emma holds up a hundred dollar bill with one hand. And in the other hand seems to be holding a wallet that's eerily similar to yours. Wait. Emma? Eek. We talked about this. Give the poor boy his wallet back. My wallet? Hey, I was the one who found it. Surely I have... I get to have finder's fees. And where exactly did you find it? Uh, inside his pocket? Geez, fine. Emma hands you back your wallet. And the hundred dollar bill, por favor. Oh, you're a sharp one. After Katie gives Emma a stern look, she quickly returns the money back to you, along with a sandwich. As you say in Mexico, bon appetit. I'm not from Mexi- Wait. That doesn't even make sense. Shoo, shoo. You're holding up the line. You and Katie step out of the food line, where she lets out a sigh. Trixie won that. Let me guess. She's in here for pickpocketing? Yeah, but she can't help it. Anyway, it's time for dinner. Wanna eat together? See, si. I don't see why not. I'm guessing you've already heard that the mess hall is out of commission as well. El Presidente has been made aware. How did it get so bad? Well, the camp has been closed for a very long time. It used to be the state's most prestigious reform camp back in the day, but it was closed about six years ago. It was only reopened recently by head counselor Frock. Why was the camp closed? Well, it's just a silly rumor, but they say it was closed after the head... The last head council mysteriously vanished. Never to be seen again. Never? <laughs> I'm just spooking you. He probably just fled for tax evasion or something. But yeah, the camp was abandoned and fell into disrepair. The only thing that's still in semi-working condition is the camp center. We come here each night to have dinner together. It's a good place to socialize, get to know people, and, or pick up on rumors. If you are into that sort of thing. Hmm, I see, I see. By the way, I saw you working today. I never seen someone work as quick or as hard as you did. Almost as if the devil was chasing you. <laughs> yeah, about that. At first I was afraid that you and your personal assistant were just gonna be lazy, spoiled rich kids. But I see that I see that you now you know the value of hard work. Uh, yeah, of course. You spend the evening eating dinner with Counselor Katie. After dinner, you head back to your cabin. All things considered, that was not a bad sandwich. Now what... What... Now, was it a left or... Hmm? Your ears pick up as you hear an unusual sound coming from behind one of the cabins. 
You must have been really sleepy to crash right before we reached the cabin. Wait, I know the sleepy head. Emma, is this another trick to try to get El Presidente's wallet? Emma? Camera, now is not the time to be making beeping noise. Oh, wow, she's pretty. What the? There's something there. Black figure is hovering over the passed out girl laying on the ground. I really like that design. Oh, let's never show this to Misachi. Holy Maria. Hang on, Emma. El Presidente is here. Get off her, you monstro. Leaping up into the air, you elbow drop the nightmarish creature. Mm. You instantly come to regret your decision the moment you come into contact with the thing. All lights cut out and you find yourself surrounded by suffocating darkness. Mm. It tugs at you from all sides. You try to scream, but the words won't leave your throat. You try to stand up, but your legs feel like they're stuck in quicksand. You suck down your fur... You're sucking, sucking you down further and further. You try to flail and grab anything to help, but to no avail. You feel like you're about to submerge. <laughs> Suddenly the area lit up with a light flash as the darkness instantly dissipates. It stings your eyes, but, as, but a wave of air quickly comes so flowing back into your lungs as you gasp for air. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Dazed and confused, you look around. You're back in the forest. The soft murmurs of the camp center can be heard in the distance, but there's no sign of the monster. Beep. Camera, are you beeping again? It's an, old, it's an odd device, seemingly made of wood and a strange metallic alloy. I want a camera like that. A small light flickers inside the viewfinder. The battery... it is dead? Mm. Oh, Emma! Nearby, you see the camper slowly crawl to her feet. What's happening? Emma, you were unarmed. Fear not, El Presidente has vanquished the monster. Monster? See, si, the one who attacked you. I was attacked by... I was attacked by a monster? Cool! You do not remember? Did the monster rip my shirt? You're glancing down and you notice Emma's state of undress. The sight of her barely covered breasts put a blush on your face. Wait a second. Emma narrows her eyes and peers at you. There was no monster. You were just peeping on me. No, no, senorita. Your life was in grave danger. I was not peeping. Beep. Do you look down at the camera in your hands? I realize this does not help my case. I swear that El Presidente was not. Hmm? The camera, she is recharging? You totally... You were totally peeping. You know what this means? Oh no. Public execute... You have a crush on me! Oh, phew. Oh my, a foreign boy is interested in me. Emma's face lights up as she tries to strike a sexy pose, attempting to look like more mature and alluring. However, despite her best efforts, she is clumsy and doesn't seem to know what to do with herself. Uh, well, not exactly. You're not interested in me? What if I show you my boobs? Without waiting for a reply, Emma throws away her torn shirt to the forest floor. It is really not necess- hmm? The camera started charging again. Hang on, I can do you one better. Let me take off my pants. Well, if you insist. I should probably, you know, say, just in case. Is this going to get me in trouble? Oh, look at the little teddy bears! El Presidente is okay with this. The camera's recharging even faster now. Okay, that's enough for now. You're very pretty. El Presidente is pleased. The girl gets a bright smile on her face when she hears the compliment. She turns around and bends over to pick up her uniform from the forest floor. You can't help but sneak a peek at her butt in full display as she scrambles to get dressed. When she is fully clothed again, she turns back to you. Does this mean we're dating now? Um, 
Dating means you'll buy me expensive things, right? There is not exactly a jewelry store around here, Emma. Oh, right. Wait, I know. How about... How about I show you my my nudes in return and you give me some reform tokens? The most valued form of currency around here. Well, how many reform tokens do you want in return for flashing me your boobies? 10,000. You get 10. Deal. You can now ask Emma to undress for you in return for reform tokens. Yes. Seeming to think she has struck gold, the excited tomboy is visibly bouncing on the spot. Just be sure, maybe we should keep this between us. I have to go tell Hazel. Without further word, the girl runs off. Well then, let's just hope that will not get me in trouble. Now left alone, standing in the forest, you look down and begin examining the camera again. Beep. Fully charged. Seems to begin recharging itself looking at half-naked Emma. Come to think of it, this little thing is probably responsible for saving our lives. If a flash had not gone off, both Emma and I would probably have been eaten up by the monster. If anyone shows up, I think it would be best to have something, to, have something to defend myself. Best keep it charged. Wait. That is how I keep this camp safe? I just have to make sure I keep this thing ready to go at any time to fight off the monsters? And if it requires some girls to strip for me, then that is a sacrifice El Presidente is willing to make. El Presidente is a perf. With your newfound knowledge, you return to your cabin. Your journal has been updated. All right, guys. I think that's where we're going to leave this demo. If you guys want to see more of the demo, we might do some more of it. I liked it a lot, and I'm really happy I get to do some videos for you guys. Oh, Miss Lee said I should say, if you're on YouTube, please think about becoming a member for early videos and exclusive series. And if you're in other places, please check out our OnlyFans, Patreon, and Subscribestar. Thank you, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.